Infantry 7 here with a brief video on the Glock Plastic Fork Mod. I posted a video and got a bunch of questions about how to actually do the Glock Plastic Fork Mod. Now the Glock Plastic Fork Mod actually takes up all the pre-travel adjustment and the over-travel adjustment. I'll go over a quick rundown and show you exactly how I did it without doing it again. Now with the uh, Glock in this current configuration it only has less than a sixteenth of an inch of pre-travel. I'll demonstrate that now. You can see where the trigger actually resets and there's only that much travel still left in it. So break this down real quick. Hopefully this will answer some questions I've been receiving. Now, the reason why this is called the Glock Plastic Fork Mod is because I was searching on one, online one day and came across the Vanek trigger and it said it was adjustable in the over travel and pre travel and everything. I ordered this little guy from Lone Wolf, it has an adjustable over travel set screw. Right. here and that takes care of your over travel but I also wanted to take care of the pre travel because I thought it was a little too mushy and kind of stagey so what I did was I took and broke a little piece of plastic fork off and I stuffed it right into that little slot right up there and I adjusted it, tinkered with it for a little while, and finally got it to where it would actually reset the trigger successfully. And all of the pre travel was eliminated. But what really kind of worried me was, you know, the sear is actually. or the firing pin block is actually depressed with that trigger so far back, you know. So what I did was uh, tinkered around with the idea a little bit more, cut a bunch of plastic forks up, and finally I got the measurement that I needed. So I went down to my local gun store and I talked to them about the idea. They were quite intrigued with it and were willing to help me. So let's see if I can get the flashlight out so you can see it a little bit better. We took an AR-15 hammer spring and cut one of the legs off of it. We pre-drilled a hole. You can see there's a hole right there, right there, and there's the pin right there. The first hole that we drilled, it wasn't quite right. It, the trigger wasn't resetting or anything, so I had to uh, take the slide off by taking out the striker and everything out the back and we decided to go up a little bit further that's when we finally uh, got it right with uh, a little less than sixteenth of an inch of pre travel and we stuck that pin in there ground it down with a dremel on each side and you can probably see it better now the actual pin that's actually blocking the trigger bar's movement. So.
there is the Glock plastic fork mod. I'll show you again together. Trigger goes back in. Lock and block. Always stick the top in top pin in first. in the slide stop and the bottom pin jiggle it around a little to where it go in perfectly no force needed and lastly See, it still has that snappy, audible Glock trigger reset. Took some tinkering around with the uh, connector to get it just right. You can see that there's absolutely no over travel on that trigger. But now my only concern is, is the firing pin lock safety always engaged, or disengaged rather. So my question is, is this always pushed up, thereby rendering that safety inoperable? Another thing that I'm going to have to work out is the trigger safety. You can see that I can actually pull the trigger without that lever being engaged. It's a work in progress and I'll update as I go.